But there were many ponies there, and even though I was new, they were really nice to me. Um, what were most of them like? Um... Well, Metal, as you see, most of them were different. Some of them were shy, some of them were really adventurous, others were bold, some were strong, and... Yeah, it, we fit all together, and it was nice. Um, Daddy, um, did you learn together and, um, do things? Um, well, Metal Lush, we did, and especially we loved exploring for mythical creatures. Um, were they big? Scary? Um... Well, um, Metal Lush, let's take this story one step at a time, shall we? Oh, you see? I went up to the park and eventually met, met my new classmates and well I was really shy but eventually I got to meet them while they were talking about something. Scribble Jr. was some pony who loved writing things down and I hear he even eats meat like rabbit, rats, rabbits and raccoons and sometimes even lost fillies and colts. That's positively ghastly, what an abominable creature. Vogue was also a really nice pony. He was a unicorn friend of mine. A meat-eating pony? I bet that gives him a bellyache. Oh, Flanny is the bakery pony that we know and love, Meadow Lush. And it was quite interesting to see what they had to talk to. I've never heard of any creature eating those things, and that must not have been the he most healthy thing. Hmm, bellyache indeed. I feel it's gastronomically outlandish. Equines are strictly herbivorous and would derive no nutrition from consuming meat. Astral is a science pony. She was also really cool, even though maybe a little bit boring, but um, um, she was fine, I suppose. Um, you know. It was a, it was very nice meeting all these ponies. Oh yeah, well, you're gastronomically outland, did you know that? Oh my, well, they sometimes did disagree. And I was not really sure what they were talking about, of course. It sound, it made no sense to me. And then Scribble Jr. explained it was about the wolf pony of the Evershade Forest. Oh my, that was a really big and scary story. Oh, oh, tell him. Silver was a very regal unicorn. Here we go again. Astral, of course, did not believe it. Here's this pony out in the Evershade Forest, right? Except he's not a pony, he's a Timberwolf. Except he's not a Timberwolf, he's actually a pony. A wolf pony, you see, he's both and neither. Oh my. That's a bit of, confu of a confusing explanation. You're right, this is advanced wolf ponyology we're talking about. I don't want to overwhelm the new kid. I'll come, I'll tone it down. Well, um, you see, they used to call me the new kid because, well, my, my name was New Leaf. So, yeah, I guess it was a nickname. I have this earth pony friend named Pyra down in Pony Deal, and Scribble Jr. told us about him, and he said that he heard a great boom and a howl, and then squirrels and rabbits came running out of a tree line, but, well, um, and that, of course, led to the legend of the, um, wolf pony, and the pony that was entering that forest had never returned. What exactly points to where pony in that account? Do I have to spell it out for you, Charmy? That pony ran in and he made the roar post hoc ergo propter hoc. And he couldn't have made the roar unless he had turned into a timber wolf. I don't know, Scribble. What if something else made that roar? I'm willing to imagine for the sake of argument that this pony pirate saw may not have been the were pony himself, but merely a helpless victim thereof. However, that's the most I'm willing to concede. You see what kind of nonsense this all is? Well, um, you see, Metal Lush, I was super interested. I I loved meeting new creatures like I do now. And of course I wanted to know more about that wolf pony. See? New Kid gets it. Beside Astral, there's no proof that he doesn't exist. What that famous pony say that one time? There's more in heaven and earth than exists in your philosophy. Oh, that's true. And... Yeah, science is great and all, but there are still a lot of magical phenomena that science can even begin to explain. Even Silver was thinking there was something to it. Maybe some pony should go into Evershade and find out and once and for all. And Scribble was really, really wanting to be proven right so he ha could have tales to write down. 
and ponies were starting to point towards him and wanting him to go out into Evershade Forest and find him. But he, of course, was a little scared because, you know, we were still little foals back then. Oh yeah, Pyrite and Cyrus, those were good friends of Scribble, and we were supposed to meet them soon. But, um, I wanted to join their exploration, but of course some ponies were scared. Vogue, for instance, didn't want to come because he, well, he, his parents would probably not approve of him going out there. And Silver eventually also decided he was not going to go because also his parents, and I guess he was maybe a little bit scared and didn't want to make them upset. And so, well, a few ponies didn't want to come eventually, Meadowlesh, but, um... I was still very hooked onto the story, if I admit so myself. Hey new kid, why don't you come with? You can be the third week a party, yeah that's the word. And that's how they invited me to come along. Going into um Leah, yeah, I was I was completely hyped to go there, Meadowlash, if I'm honest. And they told us to go to the Pony Ponydale Town Hall. Which was completely new to me because I'd never been to Ponydale in all my life. But I had I had been told that you would have to go through the train station to go there. So I made my little hooves up to the train station and tried to go to Ponydale as quickly as I could. So I eventually got to the train station and hopped onto a nearest train and took a ride. And... Here's Ponydale. Yay! And eventually, after a long, long train ride, I got to this new place called Ponydale. It was cool. There were trees. Everything was green. It was nature-y and so many cool houses. I loved this place. Wee! But I had no idea where the town hall was, so I decided to investigate a place and well in my own very way and that usually meant teleporting somewhere and so I teleported from treetop to rooftop come on yeah from treetop to rooftop to more trees and more roofs and to other roofs even though I was small I loved teleporting it was a good way to see and eventually I saw the big red roof and I knew that was what it looked like because it's, it's hard to miss. And eventually, I got to the front of the town hall, even if it was a little strange. And I'm sure Pony saw me teleport from roof to roof, but, um, well, it's what I did. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Haha, <laughs> this is excellent. I told you it was true, so awesome. We finally got to meet Cyrus, who always thought he was the most awesome pony that there is. And... Well, I, I guess he was confident, and I guess confident is a, being confident is a good thing. And I was curious what was going on. And Astral said she saw the wolf pony, and I was surprised to see her change her mind. Isn't it great? She's actually a believer now. Oh wow, really? What did it look like? Did you see a change? Oh, Pirate was a pony who loved to do um, science-y things and do research about ancient things and creatures. Which was very fascinating to me. Yeah, Astral, give us the full scoop. Oh, I wish I'd brought something to take field notes with. I can't believe it's actually real. I was sure Star was just making it up. So what happened? Opal was also a new friend that we were going to meet. She was also from Cloudsdale, and she was going to tag along. Okay, um, maybe it was possible my eyes were playing tricks on me. Um, Astral was, of course, still questioning herself, but... um. And she eventually said that from a distance she saw an earth pony with a brown coat, but then she got a little closer and realized she'd never seen him before. And then as she realized she was uh, what was happening, she was about to call out and ask who that pony was, but then it vanished into a pile of green smoke and there was a timber wolf there instead. So the legend was all that more hyped and we were totally into seeing what was going on and Scribble Jr. said it was Wolf's Ponies 1 and Science 0. I like science but um you need to be a curious pony to do science. Scribble you still don't understand do you? This could change everything about present knowledge of transmogrific transmogrific biology which means 
turning into things. Y you all know what this means, right? If the legend's true and we're the ones who found him, we're heroes now. Swifty was a pony from Cloud Sails Way. He didn't have a lot of con confidence, but he liked being a hero. Oh, sorry. I mean, we should pro probably tell an adult about this, right? No way. If any pony else finds, they might find him first. You're the only one who saw him after all, and we don't have proof. We do need to find some evidence if we want to be taken seriously. You didn't all come out here to give up our chance at being made the heroes of Equestria, did we? I definitely didn't. Oh, Cyrus wanted to be the most awesome pony that there was. You silly cult, what's more important, your chance to become famous or your life? And they were arguing, but I kind of also made my mind up. I totally wanted to go there, even if my parents back then didn't, well, approve that much, but um, I was a curious pony. I agree with that silly cult. We can take whatever's in there as long as we stick together. Assuming it's eight of us, what do you think, New Leaf? Well, of course we could make it, but I don't want to fight. And I don't didn't really think we needed that much proof, because as long as we, like, you know, eight ponies saw it, we, that's like enough proof, right? So let's focus on finding a proof rather than getting into fights. What if you tax us though? We need a plan to defend ourselves. Pyrite was scared because we, well, we were still little and if there was a big and possibly scary timber wolf, we would have had to be ready. Um, and so we came up with an idea of possibly ambushing him if there was going to be someone. And Swifty was starting to get self-doubts and, um... We kept talking about making ideas, and Cyrus was trying to tell us that he's awesome by himself, so even if we were a little less awesome than him, we still could do it, and that Timber Wolf would not stand a chance. Oh, really? Are you up for another Wolf Wrestling match right here, right now? Olga used to be good at calling Cyrus out when he was trying to be more confident than he um, usually is, and... Not another one, Olga. There's only so much humiliation one cold can take. We're getting distracted here. We need to focus on the real issue. Yes, it was a little difficult to get things organized, but we d eventually came up with a plan. And do, do we really have to? Swifty being to feel a little bit talked over. And well, um, we eventually did come up with a plan of you know writing things down. We. We did realize that we were eight strong ponies, and well, we knew that if we worked together, we may just have a little bit of a chance. But what if some pony gets injured? I wish Mercury was here. Opal said that um, she got a few potions from Mercury and bandages as well, and we could bring those along as well into the Everfree Force, which was good in case some pony did get hurt. And what are you going to do, even if you do find it and beat it? Drag it back to town? Don't be silly. Gah. We can cross that bridge when we come to it, Astral. I don't think there were any British in Evershade. Cyrus was not always the brightest bulb on the, on any chandeliers. It, it was a saying, of course, like every pony knows. Um, but he was trying his very best. Well, what do you suggest, then? All we really need to do is, is something to prove the existence of the werewolf pony. A sample of some kind, maybe. Like Swifty was saying. Awesome, sounds like a plan. Let's go. Oh, this Evershee forest we're talking about, it's not some wolf pony you have to worry about. There are all kinds of beasts in there. Everfew forest was dark and big and dangerous sometimes if you weren't ready. But of course I wanted to know more. I've heard rumors of forests that roam the forest. There's also her state of cockatrices that can make ponies freeze like statues. And then there are timber wolves. So there were many things in that forest, and they were unusual. Um, isn't that too dangerous for young fools? Um, well, Meadow, as you see, see, even if there are so many creatures that seem dangerous, I always thought they could be nice and we could learn to understand them and live in harmony. So, eventually, we did come up with the plan to go into Evershade and... Opal said there were even dragons out there, which was also really interesting. Every shade was big, and if we were a small group, it would be okay. Are we really all sure about this, though? Even the seven of us? Wait. Seven? Weren't there moments? Weren't there eight of us a moment ago? There we go. Swifty's gone. And Swifty eventually left us because 
he felt we were, um, talking over him, and, well, we eventually came up with the, uh, um, came up that we had to, had two reasons now to go there. We had to save Swifty, of course. And Swifty, um, he did not have, she did not have the most confidence, but, well, um, she did run off eventually, and I guess it was up to us to become hero ponies and buckle up and eventually go into the Evershade Forest and do it. So she, uh, so we thought she would want to go find the wolf pony on her own to prove herself. But of course, it's dangerous for a single foal to be out in the Evershade Forest. And having a Pegasus filly lacking self-confidence running around in Evershade alone is probably, um, well, not something that should be happening. And usually it doesn't go well. So, um, Astra was a little worried. She went to Everfear herself. A few times as well, but, um, you see, ponies never get lost. That's no reason to run off by yourself, it's dangerous, but if it doesn't matter right now, we have to find Swifty before trouble finds her. Are you crazy? Ever run out of the woods terrified once today? You were on on your own then, Astro. There's seven of us now, and that's a big difference. We've got your back. Yeah, we can handle whatever those trees can throw at us. I like trees. We can't just leave Swifty there, there alone. We need to help her. Besides, if an adult finds out, we'll all be in trouble. Yes, I did not want any pony to know what we were doing. I suppose we don't have a choice, but for the record, I want you all to remember that I said this was a terrible idea. Onwards to adventure. I loved adventure even back then. Awesome. Let's all head to the entrance of Evershade and save our sweat friend Swifty. Let's go start the epic saga of friends. And so we unvoluntarily had our little adventure booked for us. Um... Even though it was dangerous, we were confident in what we did, and there were many of us. So, and plus we had to save Swifty, who was a good friend of mine, and still is. And so I, well, tried to find the Evershade Forest, but um, with a few teleportation spells of mine, I did eventually make it over there. From tree to tree, from tree to tree, and eventually I made my way over there. Yeah, and there. then I went into the Evershade Forest, which was a dark and mysterious place, foggy, and of course I met my fellow classmates there, and so we talked out a little bit of a strategy plan to go about. Those are some big bees. What did you say again, Olga? They're hornets, not bees, right? They're scary. I told you this was a bad idea. Oh, they ponies, they got a little scared, but I was actually more intrigued than anything else. I didn't want to fight them, but at the same time, I did want to get close to the creatures and understand them. Come on, we can take them. No, least right, this is the time for action. If we work together, we can defeat the hornets. Of course, we weren't going to hurt them, but just, you know, incapacitate them so we can save our friend. I, and, oh... Olga suggested we perform a seismic buck to incapacitate hornets. And I kind of know what, what that is, but not every pony does. It's like when you use your hinds and stomp the ground really much. As much as I love to see you try doing them while you're awake will suffice, Cyrus. Yes, Cyrus said he could do seismic bucks in his sleep, and I think no pony believed that. Well, I can't. I haven't been taught that, and it's not the time for lessons. Astral really didn't know how to do them. Then use ground pound. Every foal now knows how to do that. Come on, we're wasting time. Let's get rid of this giant scary critters and find Swifty. And so we trotted into the Evershade Forest. And there were hornets and eventually we had to use our magic and attack them. It was only one or two hornets, but we eventually managed to pull it off. It was difficult to do, but eventually um, we cleared a little bit of a path, and we had to nurse some pony because, well, little Pyrite sprained one of his hooves on, on while trying to kick. You were keeping your front hooves too straight. Try letting them bend more next time. We should be more careful in the future to avoid injury. Yes, take careful measures like not going into a dangerous forest. Oh, wait. 
This void wasn't so dangerous. Sorry, I hate to break this break in on the life lessons, but maybe we could focus on my pain for a second. I'm not going to get far on a sprained hoof. Do we need to do everything myself? Look, I'll use regenerative aura that should help with every pony scratches. Wait, what? How can you use a healing ability? You're a Pegasus. Astro was really confused. And I was amazed at Cyrus being able to do it, but I I was happy to learn. And so he said he le learned it at a, a camp from last summer, and some unicorn tutor told him how to do it. Because he, well, Cyrus wanted to help ponies. I didn't know what it was either back then, to be fair. I wanted to learn, and they told me it was a unicorn spell that allows someone to spread their own energy around themselves to restore health of friends. How can a Pegasus do it though? In what way can you focus the energy? What mechanism did you use to uh, to did to use the common cure? Did this common cure use? I mean, and well, it was a little strange story, but I believed him. And eventually we get off, got off track again because we started discussing about healing and, well, how Cyrus got to the healing and eventually we did realize that we had to go deeper to save Swifty and there were hordes upon hordes of hornets and everything but I was good at teleporting so I teleported past them and not gave them too much of an opening and eventually I flashed past them and eventually we got really deep into Evershade Forest. We were surrounded by enemies, mushrooms, it was dark, and there were more enemies. But we knew we had to do what we could to save Swifty. And so we came up with a plan to save our friend and discover the legend of the wolf pony.